Hi guys, this is my channel about home brewing and today we're doing number four of my black IPA mini series. Today we're gonna do the uh, not my best black IPA. We did the uh, best black IPA. I shared my recipe, I put a link to all the other videos and the playlist. So we're gonna talk about this beer, which is not my best beer. So we ain't gonna do a grain to glass today, but we're gonna taste the beer and talk about it. It's about if you want to brew a bigger black IPA, what to think about. I got a message from a viewer called Tim. So uh, I was thinking about this mail and thought we could put it in this video with this beer. So uh, yeah, let's go for a quick intro, guys. Okay, that was the quick intro. So. Uh, this is the uh, part four of the mini series, and uh, yeah, this is not my best black IPA. This has been uh, sitting for quite a while in the keg, so uh, I thought it wouldn't fit right into the series right about now. But I ditched the brew footage and throw the recipe away. So uh, Tim is trying to brew a uh, uh, Founders clone from his favorite black IPA that uh, they don't produce anymore, so he's trying to do that. 8.9% black IPA. And uh, yeah, this is over 8, can't remember exactly, but it's over 8%. Let's uh, have a look at it. It's a very beautiful looking beer dark uh, maybe not pitch black but uh, i can't see through it but i guess if you have a smaller glass maybe with some light you could maybe see through it but i can't in this condition um head sticking on quite nicely off white head and some bubbles streaming up against the glass let's give it a nose Not super hoppy. This is over six months at least. Might be much older than that, but at least six months. Malty sweetness. Some hops, maybe some hint of alcohol even there. Yeah, um, let's dive in. Cheers, guys, and uh, yeah, cheers, Tim. Hope you will uh, brew that perfect beer. We're gonna talk a little about. It. Some crackers. Yeah, ah, let's go for it. Cheers. <laughs> it's quite nice actually. I haven't had this um, in a very long time, so I had this sitting. Um, So this is about somewhere between eight and nine percent. Don't know exact, but I don't think it matters. It is a little bit boozy. Still hoppy. Has some sweetness to it. We're clean otherwise but it's too boozy and um, I remember it more sweet maybe uh, it has fermented out a little bit more while conditioning even it has been colder we have some I have suggested it that uh, the dark grains the more complex sugars will keep on fermenting this has been sitting quite cold so uh, yeah but it's not as dark as i rem but it's not as sweet as i remember it so 
my best black IPA wasn't that uh, high in ABV strength. The um, 17 black IPA I did, you will find links to both of the video because uh, one of them ain't in this playlist, so uh, maybe I'll put it into this playlist. But yeah, anyways, I think the uh, best percentage is to aim for about around 6% for black IPA in other ways you have to take some measurements and that's what we're going to talk about I had this talk with uh, a Swedish home brewer Sofia please comment down below see Sofia if you're watching this video Sofia is the better half of BSB homebrew um, she's never on tape but maybe she will start now when she gets a personal shout out. Cheers, Sofia. I met um, Sofia in person actually uh, at uh, the Swedish homebrew competition in Norrköping. If you haven't watched that video, you will find it uh, on the card here and link down below. I think she might be on tape so watch out for Sofia back to the black IPA so as I said around 6% I think that's good for black IPA if you want to do it all grain that wasn't uh, yeah I hasted that answer so let's take it back but around 6% that's good for a uh, black IPA that's oh, yeah that's a good percent for a uh, IPA around that 5.6 5.9 6.3 6. yeah get it because the dark grains can get a little bit sweeter if you go over six percent into seven and eight and yeah and even nine eight and a half might get sweet you don't want that in an IPA uh, I don't want that in an IPA a black IPA is an IPA so I don't want that um, the uh, 17 brew crew IPA we did add some sugars to dry it out and that actually worked so if you want to do it over six percent like seven eight nine I would suggest adding some sugars to it to dry it out or talk with Sophia. Of course, there's way to uh, mash it where we're low. We can try that, but um, my suggestion is to add some sugars to it or mash it low and then try to balance it with hops. You need it to get much bitter if you want it to uh, go over six percent to balance out the sweetness so if you are uh, team doing the uh, founders clone I'll put the name of it peak and something don't have it in my head right now put a name on here. and if I found a picture of the beer you were talking about it's gonna do it you had the notes that said it was 100 IBUs, try to get it at 100 IBUs to balance out that sweetness. If it is actually an all grain and doesn't have an adjunct, it, you could add some adjuncts to it if you want it higher. It doesn't have to be sugars, it could be rice, it could be corn, something else. But I think a good black IPA, aim for 6% and try it from there if you really wanted to go higher I would add some uh, fermentables that easily accessed by the yeast like sugars or rice or corn something like that and if you don't want it mash it lower and bump up the IBUs that's my suggestion what you guys think about that what is your best black IPA? Please comment down below. We have talked so much about uh, the long shelf life from the black IPA. 
if you want to continue that discussion as well comment down below but guys if you're new to the channel please consider becoming a subscriber you have the uh, sub button below or you can hit this circle and uh, there's also my patreon page if you want even more content to show your support for the channel and as always all of my other videos so cheers guys and thanks for watching dr hans out